Hey guys, just checking in after Hurricane Ian passed through Florida. You may know that we're a Florida beekeeping family and all of our hives turned out just fine. None of them were toppled, none of them were knocked over and I didn't even have to put any straps on them. We're in uh, Northeast Florida and this part of the state was only minimally affected. We had some rain, we had some wind, but nothing major and where my house is located, we're not really in an area that's prone to flooding, so we didn't have to worry about that. However, I'm gonna show you some stuff that we have. In the past, we've had to use some of these mechanisms. You may have noticed this is hive one here and the bees are busy buzzing around today. During the storm, they were cooped up and wouldn't leave the hive. But you may notice there's this little islet right here. And this has been here since Hurricane, uh, what was the name of it? Hurricane Ada. And what this is, it's an anchor point, an earth anchor, that allows us to secure our hives with straps. So during a hurricane, we can actually deploy these straps and we can actually secure our beehives with them. And these are the kind of earth anchors that these are. Right now they're only installed. I can only secure these hives with them. I don't have any on these ones because these are newer beehives and I haven't had a need to put them on yet. But that's one method that we, uh, if we ever have to evacuate because of a storm, that's how we secure our beehives. The bees will naturally try to secure their own hives with a natural glue called propolis. And propolis is a sticky substance that the bees make on their own. So if I just try to lift this up, it doesn't even budge. I would have to knock it loose to get it to come loose. And that's just their way of uh, making their home nice and secure and uh, not easy to shift. But that wouldn't keep the whole hive from tipping over. That would just keep the boxes from separating. But they'll do that on their own naturally. And so when I do an inspection, I usually have to break it loose with a, a hive tool. And this is actually propolis that's on my hive tool. All this dark stuff, this is all propolis. And it gets kind of sticky. It gets all over my gloves. But that's the bee's natural glue and it kind of gets everywhere. So some people in our state weren't as lucky as we were. Here's a picture from Southwest Florida, somebody who prepared, but unfortunately the storm was just too strong. It's a huge loss to lose an entire apiary this way. So let's please keep them in our prayers. Don't forget to subscribe. And if you want to be notified when we upload new videos, ring that notification bell.